G'day, welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me. So here we are with the Trilobes from Strike FPV. Once again, thank you very much for making these available to the community, mate. Really uh, think that's a cool move. Um, so yeah, let's try them out. Let's put them down for a hover. I'll put the microphone down next to them like I did for the bio blades, and this time I'll use some props that don't rub. Uh, for that, uh, on that note, uh, we'll be using the Dow props. Uh, what are they like? 50, 45s, uh, tri blades to compare to the tri lobes. But again, these are the four inch tri lobes that he put out um, because the five inches they don't work. Flex, touch. So, yes, anyway, I'll. Uh, put the five inches on and we'll give them a go, but for the actual test, we'll use these ones. Anyway, let's get to it. I uh, re-secured the, push the prongs out. All right, let's see if she flies. Whoa. Jesus Christ. That's a, that's a no go. That is too flexible. All right, here we are. Sorry, the sun's come out, so it's, but, but there you go. Look. So what was going on there was the uh, prop was uh, flexing too much and was unable to cope with the forces put upon it, obviously. Uh, all right, um, I guess there's another design to try for these larger ones, but for now, let's go try out the uh, three inches and I'll get some different props. Back in a moment. Had the bloody thing in manual focus. I don't know if any of that was in focus. So here we are. I've got the props on the little three inch. Um, uh, there won't be any OSD in this because I had to change the VTX and um, yeah, I haven't set it up. I thought it was just going to transfer over, but it didn't. I guess maybe I need an update or I need to set it up properly or something. Anyway, I just wanted to get out and try. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. Before I do, these are actually a lot better uh, in design, I think. Uh, they've got a lot longer cord on the uh, profile of the lobe. Um, and present a lot more blade than you usually have. They also look pretty sick. Uh, but let's see how they fly. So it's just going to be the hover test, like before, and the uh, and the punch out, uh, maybe a quick rip around depending on vibrations. About there, so that would be uh, that's probably a foot from the camera there. So about a foot and a half. Let's plug it in. Telemetry yeah. recovered. All right. So, try lobe 3 inch on 3 inch squad. So the take home message from this is no. That's, let's do the noise comparison anyway. All right, I've changed over the props. Let's go do that sound test and a little punch out. Okay, I think I'll wrap up on the bench in a mo, but let's uh, check out this sound comparison. First up, hovering. Now, 
now giving it the beans. And the side by side comparison. So where did all that get us? Uh, a couple of a couple of hubs, a hub and a couple of tri blades that'll probably make desk fans. Uh, tri lobes, sorry. Um, yeah, so that wasn't the most successful video I've ever made, but at least I guess you got to see the sound comparison of the three inches there. Um, I yeah, like I don't think these are up to the job and I know that he has put out a version 3 in fact while I was shooting that stuff it is the day after I shot that um, uh, that was actually released um, so yeah that's that's that uh, I'm gonna try the version 2's of these by blades because they look um, like a completely different design almost and I will probably check out the version 3's they seem to have a much thinner if I get one of these out the version 3 seems to be uh, having a much more plastic around these areas and much less in, in that sort of extra area out here and that should hopefully um, avoid some of that horrible flexibleness. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, thank you very much Striking FEV for putting that out there and for keeping to refine these designs. I think in general, I've seen some commentary on the uh, MIT video by Dr. Quads in particular. Um, he makes a very compelling argument against the veracity of the claims made by the MIT team. Um, and it could have just been poor promotional work on their behalf, but it does cast a bit of shadow over over whether um, this is worth as much hype as it's getting at this point. Uh, we we you know a lot of people uh, have come across out there, especially if you're uh, you know interested in boats. The Toroda props are not exactly a new thing. Um, they've been used on boats uh, for quite some time. There's a company with a patent for it uh, that specialises in them. They're very expensive, uh, but they do cut down in cavitation. Now, I would like to pose that the benefits that you get there are not gonna be realized in the same way uh, because of the density differences. And cavitation is basically the pressure being lowered to the point where the water boils and it vaporizes. Um, and, and that causes an air pocket, which, uh, and, and also causes damage to the prop and pitting on it and stuff like that. Um, there's a whole, there's like a whole other video worth, or 10 videos worth of stuff in that. But you don't have phase changes for these props uh, or any, you know, any, any air props, do you? Um, you're not running them that hard. You're not changing pressure that much in any way. So I don't see that as a benefit. If we're also talking about like reducing the noise, um... Like I mentioned briefly, I didn't mention, I, I posted uh, in, in the last video, deeper noises travel through uh, to different densities, like from density to density, more efficiently than high pitch noises. And so when you're inside somewhere, which is where you know, most of us spend our time, uh, you know, we want to realize a redu reduction in the annoyingness of, say, a drones and aircraft flying around you're not going to realize that because the noise is marginally reduced and is shifted down tone. So it will travel into the houses more, in my estimation, than the higher pitch noises do. Even though it's probably overall uh, a less annoying thing. Um, or 
noticeable to us. I don't know. This is up for debate and personal perception. What I do think these would be cool for is uh, semi-cosmetic fans, like like roof fans or desk fans and 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 um, fan installations where you want to shift the tone away uh, and, and make them less noticeable. I'm quite keen to see some of these probably will come out on computer cooling fans. I can just imagine it now, especially given the cool shape. But, um, and, and these ones especially, I don't have... I don't have any nut ones left, but the, the T, uh, 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 top ones here, um, you know, they look really cool. They're a cool shape, uh, nice to the eyes. So there's something in that. Um, but yeah, uh, make of all that what you will. That is, that is me conversating a lot on the topic. Oh my God. One moment. <laughs> so to wrap this up, do I think that we're going to be swapping over to these things anytime soon? No. Am I really keen to check out the new uh, version three and version two? Version three of the tri-blades and version two of the bi uh, lobes, sorry. Uh, yes, I am. I still think it's really cool, um, you know, and this is this is fun to test it. Um, I'll probably do more flying over grass. Uh, but yeah, um, it, it's, it's awesome. I, and I, I love that there's been this hype in the community where we have all gotten excited about this and, and, and jumped in and thought, yeah, let's, let's, let's have a go. That's, that's what I love about this community. And, um, you know, good on you, everyone. Yeah, it's just, just wanted to add that. So, yeah. Um, thank you for watching. Peace out. Fly safe. And I'll catch you next time.